hi there welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel chan. my name is basani or nicole whichever one you prefer and in today's video i'm basically going to be sharing with you a few tips and tricks about how to choose your subjects in high school um specifically for my grade 9 learners but feel free to watch if you are just a high school student probably in grade 10 11 12 just feel free to watch um i think it's a very good video that's informative and it's also going to help you choose your subjects if you want to change subjects um as a high school student who is not in grade 9 um i have my laptop here with me i have notes so if i constantly look on and off screen please do understand that i'm reading my notes and i have a bottle of water because talking can be exhausting so i need to drink to get hydration so without further ado let me get straight into this video so my first talking point is you need to know your career path so what i mean by this is before you choose your subjects you need to think about what you want to do with your future what do you want to be when you grow up what job do you want to find yourself doing so allow that job to guide you into choosing subjects right this is not a how to choose your job your future job type video this is just me helping you pick your subjects okay i'm not going to go full into detail with the job seeking thing all i'm just going to say is know what you want to do in the future if you want to be a doctor what you do is that you go on the internet or you can go to a teacher but you can go on the internet search if i want to study medicine what subjects are required of me right when you do find out what subjects are required of you you pick those subjects right if you want to be a software engineer you most probably have to study cat it and any other subject that is in coordination with that specific career so like i said topic number one is know what career you want to do when you grow up so once you know that career what you do is that you choose subjects that are centered around that specific career if you don't know what to do or you don't trust the internet please speak to your teachers your teachers are more than willing to help you they have dealt with this for years and years and years they have had children um excuse me students children whatever the case may be they have dealt with this before so please do speak to someone you can even speak to me you can comment down below you can dm me on instagram you can send me an email to ask me hey um i don't know what career path to do or i'm confused about which subjects to choose when it comes to this career etc etc feel free to ask me questions i am here i'm your big sister so yeah so my second talking point is what are your strengths weaknesses and interests choose subjects that you know you like choose subjects that you know you are good in don't choose a subject that you do not like because the thing about choosing subjects that you do not like is that you will not be motivated to do them if your teacher gives you homework you will not want to do the homework because you don't like that specific subject so please do choose subjects that you actually like subjects that you know you are also good in if you know very well that you are getting 30 percent for it for ems when you are in grade nine i'm sorry when you're in grade nine don't choose business subjects when you get to grade 10 because you're not going to do well in them because number one you don't like them and you're not passing them so it's very important that you choose subjects that you like and subjects that you know very well that you are good in so the third talking point is choosing between maths and maths literacy so with this one it's a very tricky situation because a lot of students choose pure maths in the beginning of their grades 10 and then by the end of grade 12 everybody's doing maths lit and only a certain number of people are doing pure maths um this has happened a lot in many cases in many situations it has even happened to me i have found myself um choosing pure maths when i was in high school grade 9 and then i ended up finishing matric with i finished matric with maths literacy um yeah so you need to choose between pure maths and maths literacy excuse me i hope you can see me better now so with these two um it's very important that you know which one you are good at if you don't know which one you are good at go to your maths teacher and ask her so when you write a um, maths i think you write paper one and paper two please ask her ma'am which paper did i excel in and say did i excel in the pure maths one or the maths literacy one whichever one you excelled in means that that is the one that you should most likely be going for trust me when i say this because now i used to be in a situation i was very good at maths in grade i'm um, grade nine i was very good at it but when i got to grade 10 i realized that actually this pure maths thing is really not for me when i got to maths lit i was really flourishing i got a distinction on my first test simply because i understood that part better so make sure to ask your teacher ma'am 
which paper did i pass well did i pass the maths pure maths one or did i pass the maths literacy one so know your strength between the two also with pure maths when you choose pure maths you need to understand that um you're gonna need to put in a lot of hard work because it's not that easy trust me it's not impossible to pass it's very possible to pass but you just need to make sure that you put in a lot of hard work and effort into it and the biggest advantage about choosing pure maths is that you are most likely to be able to apply into different universities with your pure maths mark um especially if they are good whereas with maths literacy you are very limited in terms of applying for university because not all courses want you to have maths literacy it's only a few courses that are very selective when it comes to this thing so disclaimer i just want you to know that just because you are going to be choosing maths literacy it does not mean that you are less smart it does not mean that you are dumb it does not mean that you you are a, a stupid you are very much capable it's just that pure maths is not your cup of tea and this is the misconception that a lot of students have that oh if i choose maths literacy i'm dumb i'm this i'm this trust me you are not dumb my love you just happen to not understand pure maths just like me i don't understand numbers i'm not very good with numbers if i have to see x is equals to da da da, da i literally lose my mind so please choose what is good for you um yeah if you don't believe me please speak to students who are doing maths literacy and ask them hey guys did you ever perhaps do pure maths in your life? And if they say yes, please ask them why they drop. They will tell you. It's not that easy. Do not choose pure maths if you know very well that your brain cannot handle such information. Right. Good. So the next talking point that I have is um, don't choose subjects just because your friends are choosing them. This is a mistake that I see a lot of children making when choosing subjects. Oh, just because my friend Jacob chose it, now I'm also going to choose it. I don't know what to do. Um, You need to choose subjects that are for you. Like I said, choose what you like, what you enjoy, and what you're good at. Don't choose what your friend Jacob is doing. What your friend Jacob is doing is he's choosing that because he knows it's going to take him somewhere. So don't choose subjects just because of your friends. Please don't ever do that. Don't even think about it. If your friend says, I'm going to be doing history, don't say, hmm, let me also do history. La, 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 friendship, friendship, friendship. Do not do that. It is a big mistake. Trust me. Choose what you like, what is for you, okay? The next one that I have is talk to your teachers if you are confused. Like I said in the beginning, your teachers have dealt with this for a very long time. They've had students come in and out of school. They have students who they've taught. They have, they have, they've dealt with this. So if you're confused, it's okay. Speak to your teachers and ask them about subject choices. Speak to them about what you like and what they would recommend based on what you like, right? And then the other one that I have is it's okay to be confused. It is honestly okay. Um, when I was in grade nine, I didn't have my life figured out. The career choice that I wanted to do in grade nine versus the career the career that I'm studying towards right now is two different things. I mean, more or less the same, but it's literally two different things. Yes, so um, it's okay to be confused and um, helpless, you know. Not helpless, but it's okay to be confused and hopeless because you are at the end of the day 15 and expecting a 15-year-old to know what they want to do with their life is ridiculous in my personal opinion. So it is okay that you are confused and you don't know what you want to do. Um, Just speak to someone and talk to someone about it. And then the next one that I have is don't just choose your subjects. Yes, don't just choose random subject, guys. Um, think about what you want in life. Like I've said throughout the whole video, think about what you want to do with your life and choose subjects based on that. If you're not quite sure, like I said, if you're not quite sure what you want to do yet, just choose the subjects that you are good at. But one thing that you must take into consideration is the whole maths, lit maths literacy and pure maths thing. Like I said, pure maths lets you have a variety of options when it comes to applying whereas maths limits you so you need to make sure that you think about your decision carefully when you choose between pure maths and maths literacy i'm sorry i had to chase the sun guys the lighting was no longer giving this is what i'm working with for now um so basically for the last part of this video i just wanted to share um my experience and subject changes and whatnot so when you are in grade 9 you are allowed to change your subjects when you get to grade 10 grade 11 and grade 12 so in grade 12 i think you're only allowed to change two subjects whereas in grade 10 i think you can change three subjects i'm not quite sure but 
um i basically changed subjects when i got to grade 12 simply because i was not performing well in pure maths and i was not performing well in physics so i had to change that whole thing and yeah it turned out really well honestly speaking it's very possible for you to change um in grade 12 i don't recommend it though because imagine if you don't grasp the information that is given to you and you don't do well with it now what but all i'm saying is it's very possible for you to change subjects so don't be so hard on yourself if you don't know what to do right now with your life it is okay you will be able to change subjects soon um yeah that's why i changed my subjects i was not performing well so i changed um anyone can change so that is it for this video um i'm so sorry it's a mess it's literally all over the place but it's okay guys um life happens <laughs> the sun is literally disappearing on me but yeah i hope you found this video informative if you did please do make sure to like share comment and subscribe share it with your grade 9 friends your grade 10 friends your grade 12 friends share it with anybody who you think will need this piece of information i will see you when you see me goodbye love you lots take care of yourself be kind and yeah peace out bye I've been falling every time I try to grow, I don't know yeah, yeah. I should keep it on the low, or if it's better trying to get up on my toes I'm just trying to see the light that's on the other side of the tunnel Yeah, yeah. I just want to see the prize, but when I open eyes, seeing nothing